Hey everyone, this is Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cute little chick using some felt that I coffee dyed and also a foam egg that I believe I found at the Dollar Tree um, and a few other supplies. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay your foam egg on the felt and trace it um, two times on the yellow felt. Next, you're going to want to cut both of these out. Okay, um, once you get them both cut out, then you want to begin to glue them together. I use the Fabric Bond hot glue because it sticks to fabric and I'm also just laying them together here to trim up the ends so they match up perfectly when I glue them. You want to make sure that you put your Sharpie line on the outside because this is going to eventually be the inside when we're done. So I'm just going to take the Fabric Bond hot glue and I'm just going to work in little sections around the egg and just be careful because I feel like the fabric bond hot glue when it burns it burns a lot worse than the regular okay then when we get down here closer to the bottom we are going to leave a small probably about a two inch gap we're just gonna leave it enough that we can flip this inside out like this Make sure you use your fingers to poke out all the corners or edges I should say. Now I'm just going to take some polyfill and I'm just going to stuff it. Now that that's done I'm just going to seal that gap back up. At first I was trying to really focus on getting the gap to look nice but then I realized I'm going to glue the feet on there anyways so it really doesn't have to be that neat. So I'm going to do it the best that I can but I'm not going to waste too much time on it. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we're going to work on the feet. So all I did for the feet was I folded it in half and cut a heart shape like they teach you in grade school. I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. And then I opened up the heart and I cut two little sort of round dips in the middle of each heart, heart hump, I guess you would say. And then I just cut right down the center of the heart. That gives me two little feet. And for the nose, or the beak, I should say, I just cut a diamond shape out. So now I'm just going to attach the feet to the bottom of the peep chick, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm still using my fabric bond hot glue and I'm going to cut the back of that off, the back of the feet, because you don't really need that excess on there. Now I'm going to take some blush and a couple beads for the eyes and I'm going to start to work on my face. So I'm going to glue the nose on and then I like to put a little bead of glue in the center top that way it looks like a beak and it still looks open a little and I did switch for the face I do switch to the regular hot glue sticks now I'm just gonna take a q-tip and dip it in some blush and apply it in a circular motion just to give this chick some rosy cheeks I think it just adds a little something extra next I'm gonna take some raffia and just make a small little bow. You could use ribbon, um, really anything here. Maybe some jute would look cute. Just be creative. I'm sure you can come up with something super cute for it. Now I'm going to just trim the ends off and I'm going to set this bow aside for now. And this is a boa 
that I actually, it's a white Bella that I actually just cut a little section off and I coffee dyed it. Now I'm just going to glue this right on to the chick. I think he looks super cute with a little fuzzy head. Once I get that on the way that I like it, then I'm just going to take this raffia bow that I made and I'm just going to glue it right to the top. Just like this. Isn't that cute? And that is it, guys. That is a super simple craft. I hope you enjoyed it. And for more cute crafts just like this one, please head over to burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.